All right. So basically, I recently hit 700 subscribers, and you're looking at my screen right now. All I can say is thanks everybody for supporting me like that. You guys have been amazing. And instead of being like, oh, I just hit it some subs, I'm... Wait, what? Why is my screen freezing like that? Oh, that was weird. Instead of being like, oh, I'm just going to play some random game and let you like and comment, I decided to return the favor this time. And this is going to be... Yeah, I, I don't care. Shut up. This is going to be um, a special video for you guys in which I will give you my Sony Vegas rendering settings and some tips on how to get better quality out of your videos, fix black lines and anything like that. So without further ado, the only thing I can not control right now is recording. As recording kind of differs on which program you use. I, I use Total Media Extreme, like that, Total Media Extreme 2, to record off my HD PVR. And the only tip I can give you for that is search for a quality thing named bitrate and max it. Get as many bit rates as you can while recording. I really recommend that to you. Once you've got your video recorded and like the best bit rate you can get, we're going to get started. So let's open Sony Vegas and let this thing pretty much load while my computer is being slow. Yeah, this is taking a while, I know. I'm sorry. And I don't really have the best computer in the world. But it's a real good computer, don't get me wrong though. You know, it can pretty much handle the rendering. So it will pretty much render my old project, which is Metroid Prime, which I uploaded, like as you can see parts of it, like here. But that's not what I'm going for. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you step by step how I um, do things. So I'm starting off with my properties, and these settings are like really important. I have a custom template. What are you going to do? Change the width to 854 and the height to 480. I mean, the setting sounds a bit weird, I know. Doesn't matter. These things are important, non-progressive scan field order, 1.0, pixel aspect ratio, no rotation of course. Frame rates, mm, if you're European, pal, if you're American, NTSC, really doesn't matter. 3D mode off, people usually bit place this to 32 bit, but 8 bit is fine. This one's important, make sure the rendering quality is at best. It's pretty much obvious. Motion blur caution, blend fields. Pretty much save that as a custom template, apply, and let's get started. So what I'm going to do like now is going to browse through my awesome ass Dutch computer and look for some video. Look at it. These are the videos I have recorded with my HD PVR. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the spirit. No, wait, that's a real big, large file. Um, what should I do? What should I do? I'll pretty much pick the real training route. It's still an enormous file, but okay. Now you get this. And of course, this isn't really the way I output my videos. So what I usually do is I right-click, go to Properties, and the most important one is to uncheck the Maintain Aspect Ratio. It usually already, as you can see, stretches out the video. If it doesn't stretch out properly, there's something else you can do. Like, if you do it like this, like normally, it just pretty much moves along with you, and that's not what we want. So what you do, you hold Control, and if you hold, hold Control, it will only stretch this, which makes it like perfect to make it like that. And you can also do the same for the top. I mean, this is just like quick. I mean, whenever I go like in detail, I just scroll in like that and make sure I perfectly fit it like this, you know. And I am a real fire tuner at settings like those. But yeah, it's really important, if you uncheck maintain and switch ratio and hold control, you can pretty much get rid of the black bars. A real important tip. So, alright. Without going, without further ado, <clears throat> let's go to the settings which I use. Now, pretty much you just have the best quality. Um, what I add is a color corrector, a sharpen, and an unsharp mask. Pretty much, I got from a color corrector, I got my own settings. Keep everything the way it is. The only thing you gotta change though is the saturation and change this to 1.166. Now look at the difference this makes already. Pretty nice, isn't it? The only thing you gotta change here is saturation to 1.166 and I saved it as a preset. I changed this HD PVR. But this should work for any capture card or any recording at all, actually. Now to sharpen. I always use a light sharpen. I really, really do not need more. Um, 
if you're using an, anything else than an HDP VR, you might want to use a medium sharpen. I mean, it even makes a difference in my videos. It's not really that much. And heavy sharpens if you really got shitty quality. But medium sharpen for non HDP VRs and light for HDP VRs. Then unsharp mask, once again light. If you do extreme, you get shit like this. And that's not the way I upload my videos. Strong is a bit strong. I Medium, yeah, it's debatable. I use light. Light looks pretty good on my videos. So, a custom HTTP VR or just any custom rendering setting, 1.16 acceleration, sharpen and unsharp mask, and you should be fine. Well, pretty much, then you get the quality I get. I don't do anything different. So let's just assume you got every setting correct right now and you just wish to render the video. So let's go to the rendering settings. Unlike others, I do not save in MP4s. I do work with WMVs. And I have my own custom template to fit with it. Well, I don't think you have to change anything here. I think this should be at 128.44 already. If it isn't, change it to that. Now this is where the magic kind of starts. Mode CBR on Windows Mini Video now. Now here's where it changes. I think it usually starts with Keep Original Site. You have to make it custom and change it to 852. I really, really do not have a clue why. I mean, the original is 854, but the rendering 852. Once again, do not ask me why. I really do not know. I don't think it makes that much of a difference, else it wouldn't have been like that. So, Pixel Expert Ratio 1. Frame rate 25 for PAL, 29 for NTSC. 3 seconds per keyframe. Sh sharpness of 90 is really enough. Doesn't mean anymore. Now, this is the most important setting of all the bitrate. And that's where things really go wrong or right in certain videos. Technically, for non HDP VRs, for dazzles, or for diamonds, a bitrate of 1.5, like that. Right, you get it. 1.50 should be fine. Really, should be fine. For HDP VRs or for anything that you want, like, good quality, I usually change it to 5. 5 megabits. Or Mbps, for that matter. 5 Mbps gets you pretty good quality. My Dazzle used to have one and a half Mbps, and it makes your file size really small. I mean, I can place it to, like, 15. I will get a little quality boost, but the file will be, like, 2 gigabytes and takes ages to upload, which is not really needed. 5 Mbps, it's enough. Make sure the project settings are either best or use project settings. I just pick best for double check. Name your file. Make sure you save this one as a preset as well and just start rendering. And I know, so I'm just gonna call it like um, sub special. I don't know why I render this. And there you go. Pretty much, of course, you gotta do your own settings, your own edits, but this is pure quality wise to get the best quality out of your videos and pretty much to make a good quality video for, yeah, like any channel with any recording device. The only thing you gotta have is Sony Vegas because I really do not know how it works for other programs. So, yeah, I pretty much think I'm done right here. Am I not? I think I've given you everything I need to know, and you need to know as well. And I'm going to cancel this rendering because I really do not need to render Ocarina of Time as it's already finished. So, I thank every single subscriber for supporting me. You've been great. 700 subs already, and I hope to gain some more in the future, of course. And stay tuned for more episodes of Metro Prime and Super Mario RPG, which are coming very soon. So, I'm going to chop it off. I'll leave the settings in the video description for those lazy asses who just want to look it up again. And I pretty much thank everybody for the support. This is Sparticle Wii, pretty much shining out. See you later.